Eh, that was a long Monday. All right, so check it out. The last like three weeks, I have failed to get footage on Fridays. Um, well, I did get footage, but I didn't get it in a comprehensive way. So the footage is choppy. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And then Friday, the other day, Friday, we weren't here. We were on vacation. Insert vacay pick here. Yes, I was rocking the Hawaiian shirt. Um, so Jonathan got a bunch of still shots from last Friday. Just want to give you guys an update. We are rolling. That's a whole bunch of equipment that I didn't get video footage for that we sent out. So like 23 pieces of equipment. So uh, yeah, just keep you guys in the loop. Look how messy my, look at this. Look at this. It's a mess. I'm really ready to get done with this remodel. So anyway, uh, check out this footage here. It's kind of, like I said, it's choppy. It doesn't make a lot of fluid, coherent sense as far as the production quality because it's several weeks worth of footage spliced together. But anyway, we are working. We are rolling, guys. Uh, we have not stopped. I just uh, have sucked at getting footage. All right, check it out. What's up guys, Southeast Soft Wash. Today is the 6th. We're out here, got a few equipment pickups today. Uh, I think we've already sent out two that just came and picked up and left. They uh, have already took some training. Got these guys here picking up a trailer today with a nice looking Tundra. Tundra brings back a lot of fine memories yeah. for me and Dusty. Yeah. Where y'all from? Charlotte, North Carolina. Premier, what is it? Premier Power, Power, Power Wash. Wash. Mm -hmm. Took some training today. Give me some feedback on that. Training was great. Uh, I'm not real familiar with soft washing, but he explained everything perfectly. We troubleshot some stuff, which was great. The lunch was great. The, the in the field, in the field yeah. training was great. And so we look, we're looking forward to going back to Charlotte and get some work out of this thing. What do you think about the trailer? The trailer is beautiful. I, it, I was just telling Dustin, if it works half as good as it looks, then I'm gonna make some money out of it. They ain't no count. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have one. We appreciate the business. Thanks, Let's go this way and look at some more rigs. This is a sidekick. Gotcha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they think they can just go all <laughs> off camera, away. but. We will pivot that camera. Y'all please pray for this man. He's about to drive <laughs> a really long way uh, back to New Jersey. Uh, what's your company name? Jersey Pro Exteriors. And already got a lawn care. You got a pretty good size lawn care outfit up there already. Yep. Adding this to their fleet of services. Uh, what do you think? Dealing with us, give me some feedback. Not much. I don't really know too much. I watch a lot of videos. This is, uh, this is exciting. Well, I don't know much either. Apparently, according to uh, Jerry, who called us today, Jerry, if you watch this, hope you have a great weekend. But uh, we're all dumb down here at Southeast, so we're just going to take his word for it. Maybe we're crazy. Could be. We appreciate the business, man. Yep. Thank you. Long drive. Long drive ahead of him, so his truck sounds good, too. He said it do one. It do have a It do have a <laughs> Let's see. Let's go back here. They're trying to sneak off. Mm-hmm. There will be no sneaking off. I'm living in the shade, man. I'm in the shade. You see where I park? I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you at all. Another Tundra. These Tundras do look good, man. I, I like the Ford, but I like I like the Toyota guy. He was driving on your uh, flares now earlier. Oh, yeah. 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 Emily got it Land Cruiser, but I I like the Tundra. Yeah. Give me some feedback. They got an Aluma Max, no pressure washer. Gonna add their own pressure washer, which is fine. What y'all think? Uh, class was great. Uh, the feedback was great. Uh, just through this process, probably six, seven weeks into it, Jonathan, the whole team's been very patient with me. I've uh, been down streaming for a while now and just looking for a new opportunity. Uh, this is definitely going to physically save a lot of time as well. Yes, sir. Uh, just like I said, we're, we're excited about it. Very yes, thankful. Palmetto Soft Wash Solutions. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's State of South Carolina. Yep. Yeah, the class was awesome, too. man. Very informative. Uh, Cody does a great job. Uh, can't wait to get back. Home and see how more special efficient we are with you yeah. Make some money with it. Yeah, yeah. Already got some work to do. That's right. We appreciate it, guys. Thank, Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Check, Check out this mini skid over here. Mini skid pro. What do you think? Think it'd be alright? Oh, yeah. What I'm doing, it'll be just fine. Got a uh, four gallon, which y'all seen this evening. Well, you know what it is. You watch the channel. Four gallon, 100 foot of pressure hose, soft wash system, all self contained on a pallet. Give me some feedback on the class. Uh, good course. 
hands on any questions, answered it. Um, didn't ask for anything else. You know, very professional. Florida? Florida. Two guys here today from Florida. We appreciate your business, sir. Right, thank thank you. you. Be yes, careful sir. riding nice back home. One more. I think we actually we had a couple more guys here that just took training, but they they've already left out. Another Florida. Yes, sir. All right. What do you think? Simplicity. Simplicity. Love it. For a guy like me, I'm not mechanical, but just talking to you and going over the skid, I'm confident I could I could do this. Yeah. We did some troubleshooting stuff today at the shop in the parking lot before we came out here go out and sabotage something simple and let, let them figure out what it was that was wrong with it. So I think that helped them a lot. Got a five and a half gear drive up here, two soft wash systems, pretty much par for the course on these Saluma Max Pro. Uh, headed back to what part of Florida? Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie, that's what I thought. Yes, sir. All right, well, we appreciate the business. Another Friday, I think we sent out with these and the other two, I think that was what, seven or eight today? Uh, we'll say seven, yeah, seven at least seven. Uh, so we got seven more next week. We're back to rolling pretty good, guys. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the supply chain side doesn't fail us too much. We can keep things rolling. If you want to get in the queue, let us know. Uh, what I was referred to earlier with one of our previous customers, let me make this point. If you're tailgate funky like mine, we've got a bunch of these systems out there in the field. And I try to say this in every class, but it should be common sense. This is obviously made to be picked up with a forklift. It's pretty heavy gauge aluminum but it's not designed to be done three times a week like that. So we got a customer that bought three of these skids. He called the day with an attitude. I don't like that. So he's fired as a customer. We won't be helping him out anymore. But his problem was he's picking this thing up multiple times a week with a bunch of liquid in the tanks and it's stressing the skid frame. Up under here, these forklift channels are welded. They're tack welded about a hundred times around there instead of a solid bead, which is fine because it's not made to be lifted a thousand times in its lifetime, especially with liquid. So guys, if you've got a skid, really any skid, no matter who built it, if you're gonna take it off the truck, get the liquid out of it. That water tank alone, if it's full of water, that's 830 pounds of extra weight on here. The skid by itself is 820 pounds. So if you got 50 gallons of bleach and 60 gallons of water and a full surfactant tank, you're putting an extra thousand pounds on that, uh, that skid frame and it's just not made to do that, especially if you don't have long forks on your forklift. You got standard length forks, you're gonna have issues. Ain't got nothing to do with us, that's got something to do with you. So don't do that. Another thing, we've had some guys, same dude, but some others uh, upgrade to seven gallon a minute pumps. Guys, please understand, that's not an upgrade. It's not better, it has a little bit more flow. We don't like the seven gallons a minute because they pull more amps, they're harsher on the electrical system and you don't get a whole lot more distance out of them. And so we don't use them, we like the five and a halves, but they, We've got guys out there that are modifying these or taking them off and putting seven. So they're running bigger hoses to support the seven, which is fine. They're, they're doing a lot of stuff to make it work. Understand, that's fine. You own it, you can do whatever you want to with it. But don't call us with issues. So starting next week, let me go ahead and break the news to YouTube. Next week, me and this guy right here, we hate to, uh, hate to break your heart. We will no longer be stopping what we're doing a thousand times a week to take tech support phone calls. We just simply cannot do it. In the industry, we're pretty well known for our customer service and we like to maintain that. We wanna make sure everybody's up and running. Dusty gets about two to 300 phone calls a week. 90% of them are very simple things, like the one's not on, a fuse is blown, simple, simple, simple stuff that people just, they don't wanna to try to fix it, they wanna call us. We wanna help you. Here's what we're gonna do. Over the weekend, I'm gonna spend a bunch of time videoing a bunch of short clips, putting them on the website. So all those detailed line items of things that can go wrong, and little simple stuff that you need to fix will be accessible day or night, 24 seven on the website. Click a video, it'll walk you through fixing whatever issue you're having. On that same page on our website, there will be a contact form where you can email tech support at southeastoffwash.com. That, that's not created yet, so don't go emailing yet. Uh, and if you can't get it up and running, shoot us an email. We will get a hold of you when we've got time to uh, call you back and make sure you're took care of. We want to take care of you. We want to make sure you're working, but we simply cannot spend our entire lives telling people to swap a fuse, change a pump, et cetera, et cetera, ad nauseum. So I uh, hope that makes sense. It'll actually be better for you guys because it's going to force you to do some of the stuff we did today in the field, and that's figure it out. It's always something easy and simple, but you got to figure it out. This is not a business. Listen, if you're not hands-on and you don't want to learn it, it's not a good business for you. 
you need to find something else. If your plan is you buy a rig from us or anybody else, and all you want to do is hold this wand and get a check, you're going to be in for a long, long road. This is a highly maintenance industry. There's a lot of stuff. We're using corrosive chemicals. We're using electrical stuff. We're using pressurized lines. We're using suction stuff. There's not a lot of expensive crap to go wrong. But there's a lot of tinkery stuff that you have to stay on top of, and you got to do it. We can't do it from Alabama, and I'm not going to drive the whole country every week fixing people's problems. So you guys have a great weekend. Take that to heart. That's coming from a good place. We're not trying to be any kind of way about it, but we have to. We, we just have to draw a line somewhere. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Go make some money. Get this dude out of here. He's standing over there watching like I'm ready to go. We'll see you guys later. Good morning, folks. Southeast soft wash. Friday morning. I'm dealing with the goofiest German Shepherd ever. Tell him, hey, Prince. He's uh he's too smart. He knows how to open these doors, and so he's escaping. There's an Aaron. Hello, Aaron. Prince don't like Aaron. <laughs> Nobody knows why. <clears throat> Check out this skit, guys. Finished this one up yesterday afternoon. It's uh headed out today. Luma Max Pro. Two soft wash systems on there, and then we got one of our five and a half gear drives plumbed up on a one inch supply pretty slick pressure hose will be on this side the guys are going to finish this up today while we're in class so that one's headed out today this one same deal got to put the ladder rack on it and kind of finish it up same exact uh thing there we got two trailers here two eight gallon a minute trailers that are also identical with eight gallon a minutes on these uh gear drives on both of these so we got gear drive options and belt drive options. There's pros and cons to each. It's not really like one's necessarily better than the other, but you got options, right? So this trailer's more or less finished. Got to put the pressure hose on this one and just tidy up a few things here. So they'll be doing all that while I'm teaching the class. This one's headed out today uh, as well. So another Aluma Max Pro. That's a belt drive on that one. I like the belts because belts are cheap. If they give you an issue, the belts, you know, 30, 40 bucks. Belts a little more prone to stretching and having to go back and retention belts. And uh, that's one of the things we've got on our tech support tab is how to do that. So if you guys have belt drive issues, uh, belt stretching, smoking, running weird, and you have to retension the belt, go to the website, go to that tech support column down at the bottom. There's a, a video about that. You got four mini skid pros right here ready to go out so those are all the same as well all of them got pressure washers on them four gallon a minute option on the mini skid pro this one's got an electric start and we can do that if you guys want to do an electric start it's no problem we keep that stuff in stock so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine nine units this week and we had one when we came in here monday so that means we've built eight units this week that's uh that's pretty good that's what we shoot for. We try to be around seven or eight units a week, depending on how many trailers that is. So the trailers take a little bit longer. How many people's gonna be here today? It's gonna be about 10 or 11 here today. It's gonna be one of our smaller classes for a while. Uh, which we is like good that. for me, but come yeah. on down and get you a skid. We'd be glad to make you one. Yeah, we can hook you guys up. So he's got his sign in sheet. Sean's taking care of that stuff for me on Friday so that I ain't gotta do it because I ain't got time. Going here and uh make sure everything's good in the training room. So this is where we do the training. We sit through here. Uh, we'll take a class this morning all the way up till about lunch. Have my projector throwing up on the wall back there. So we'll do a, a uh, about a three and a half hour long training class. And then we'll go eat lunch, which is the best part of the day. After that, we'll go out in the field and do some in the field stuff. So very cool. Uh, Aaron, can you check on that aquarium? I'm putting water in the aquarium, make sure I don't overflow it. Aquarium evaporates water out, so had to keep it topped off. All right, we'll be back throughout the day that you guys see uh, how we flow. We'll take one of these units out after lunch and do some in the field training work. Uh, we got this installed yesterday. So I wash and shower, that's uh, ready to go because we're gonna, on the other side of this wall, that's where we're gonna have the big 3,000 gallon bleach tank. Eventually, if it'll ever get here, uh, delays Delays, delays, delays. Everything is delayed. Everything is back ordered. Everything is out of stock and it sucks. So hopefully we'll get that soon because we need it. Our local guys really, really ready for it. All right, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. See ya. All right, we're halfway through today. We took a little pee pee break for the class. Got a couple guys here 
that are uh, picking up skids. They've already took training, so we'll get some footage of their units because they're rolling out. Boom Max Pros, one's headed to Birmingham. But this one looks good on there, and one's headed to Nashville, and, they, and they're brothers. All right, I don't know if my brother's gonna watch this. He yeah. watches some of my videos. Uh, I Going in bit, well, y'all are already in business together. Going to another business. Other stuff. Other business, stuff. yes. So, New businesses. They haven't killed each other yet, so they'll yeah. be all right. We'll try. What y'all think? Give me some feedback. Hey, look, uh, you do beautiful work. This stuff's great. We love it. And, Pass. Pass. Uh, we, uh, we do our homework and um, do the best. So. Yeah. They, great service. Great, great stuff. They, we got all kinds of customers. We got guys that are just getting into business. We got guys that are running other businesses. These, I ain't going to tell you what they do, but they do some stuff. So uh, pretty cool getting to meet them. They're uh, operating at a little, little higher level. Uh, but they're going to go out, I, technicians running these skids yep. every day. So kind of off the truck concept, which is great. Uh, I ain't got there yet. I'm still, there. I'm still here. I live here at the shop. But it's like Godfather 3. Uh, just, <laughs> That's right. Just when you think you're out, they pull you back in. Go back, they get back. Go back. Well, all of Cody's recent videos about the service calls have really been because of us. Yeah, they they, they tear up stuff. They ain't got it yet. No. <laughs> yeah, we, so. we're trying to get it to where people can access that stuff all the time because most of the time it's something really really simple uh but they just guys don't know so we got them sitting out here with titan reels i did get you super swivels all the way around so very cool gear drives on these uh really nice so little trailer here it fits good on there we'll let them go uh words of wisdom nashville to birmingham yep. keep getting it flip flop words of wisdom um flush this thing out <laughs> a lot and marketing which y'all already know that so Good deal. we'll do some more training we got these guys back here i think we got about six more units so awesome. thank y'all for the business thank you man. Sure thank you man. sorry it took a little while all right. All right. glad to have you. covid thank you joe biden you suck <laughs> we'll see you guys in a minute